I've been here three times, which is, which is three times. So, <laughs> um, and I, I, and I, I like to second on what the lad said, and, you know, you really do love your film, so hopefully you'll enjoy this one too. Thanks a lot. <laughs> The question is to Killian and, and what it was like working with Jim and Brendan and I assume Jody as well. Um, uh, it was it was a it was a real thrill, you know. Um, I felt that I'd be very very lucky to get to work with Brendan several times now, uh, and it's always interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, um, and it, it's it's been a real privilege to get to work with him over the years. I've admired his work, you know, for, before I was ever an actor, you know. To, to know him now um, as a friend and as an actor is, is a real privilege. And then similarly with, with Jim, again, a big, big fan of his work. And, you know, when these guys walk on, they're such bastards. You just love them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do anything. Um, but uh, it, it, was, it was just brilliant and uh, I enjoyed every minute of it. And I just want to pay tribute to Ian because he said very kind words about, uh, about us there. But uh, he did a tremendous job as, as the reaction showed tonight. And it was, uh, you know, it was brilliant working with them. The lady over here. in an identity lineup. <laughs> the question was to Brendan and Killian about how they identified with their, if they identified with their characters. Um, well, <laughs> I am a dog lover. <laughs> um, not particularly. Really. <laughs> I, think I might have suffered more from the likes of Mr. Perrier, as I like to call him, uh, than, than otherwise. But, um, no, I mean, there was such, uh, you know, when, when you get to work on something like this, the risks have already been taken, you know, by the writer. Um, it's such, that, so as Ian was saying, like, Mark, such, he has such a flow and such fearlessness uh, in where he's prepared to take things. And the language is, you know, if you do come and go up to Clara Head, to see the sea. Don't expect people to talk like that. <laughs> it's close, but it's not quite there. And, uh, so, uh -huh. so, I mean, to have the, to go for the, the, the um, that mad, ridiculous poetry in the, in the language was something, I think, you know, there is a kind of a tradition of it in Ireland. It's, I think it's called B, is Blarney maybe, or some other word called uh, B. Uh, and uh, he, he had the, go, the gumption to go and put it in the film script, which is sometimes not the most, um, you know, it's not, it's, it's sometimes actually frowned upon to exult in language in films, which I think is a big mistake really. And um, anyway, I just wanted to add to what Ian and uh, Phil had said about the fact that, you know, these characters basically came from Mark, and we were, it was fantastic to get a loan of them. And, uh, and give them back and hopefully um, allow them to live a little bit and give them to you lot on the way. And uh, again, just not to have a whole love-in fest or anything like that, but just, to, just again to, to kind of say how privileged I am to work with Killian. He's an absolute gem and uh, I'm as proud as Punch that we're actually producing the likes of this in the country. Uh, he, just, he's, he embodies everything that you want young actors to be. And uh, Ian has taken, you know, risky stuff and made risky decisions and allowed the actors to go ballistic. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think he deserves fantastic credit for it, so thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, 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 I didn't even give Killian a chance to answer. That was the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, 
about the ident identifying with the guy. Um, well, I, I think that Mark, Mark Oro writes uh, Irish males very, very well. Um, uh, and he, 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 he wrote this film, um, uh, which I was in, called Intermission a few years ago, and, and I think he brilliant, brilliantly identified something about the Irish male, or maybe it's universal, but I can only speak for Irish males. And, um, <laughs> you know, this sort of uh, procrastination and just not really doing anything, and, and I think in Michael's case... Uh, <laughs> Everybody, but um, in Michael's case, you know, he's got this sort of weird relationship with his parents, and he's got this relationship with his girl, and he's just letting it be because he's hoping sure it'll be all right by just letting it be. And, um, I think he just observes that beautifully and in the language and everything. And also, uh, just to continue the, the love fest, can I just say uh, how fantastic it was working with Jodie Whittaker as well, who's a, a fantastic and uh, steely actress. the lady the question is um, what as someone the, the lady says uh, as someone who doesn't know Irish cinema well what would um, Ian recommend for directors or films in, within Irish cinema Perry is bad <laughs> I mean, Triage is on tomorrow with, with Colin Farrell, another fantastic actor. I mean, Brendan's talking about, you know, a vintage generation of Irish actors that we can all be proud of, and he's certainly one of them. Um, I know Neil has a film, I'm done, coming out as well. I think there's a, there's a rich seam of, of Irish cinema, dare I say it, uh, coming out this year, so, so watch out for him. I think we have time for one more question. Um, and I'm going to go right in the middle, that gentleman over there. Speaking of language, um, the gentleman is referring to a particular characters who, who appear in this film who are, who are traditionally from the north side of Dublin, which is the rougher end of Dublin. And he's asking me, do I, it seems I seem to be specialising in urban characters, do I intend to make a, a film about cultures who are basically idiots from the country? So, um, that seems to strike a chord with the audience here. Is that Ontario or where is that from Canada? <laughs> Montreal, somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, um, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing next. So, um, I'm afraid I can't give you an answer. Can I just um, mention that I'm from the north side of Dublin? <laughs> I think it was the cultured side. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the <laughs>